photographs that have been taken by other uh, satellites going around Mars exhibit a very strange object on Mars. It's not a face. It is a vertical object and it casts a shadow. The Canadians in, uh, uh, I, I think it was maybe 06, uh, did a study of sending a uh, spacecraft, a robot, to this moon of Mars. The Russians have been trying to get their spacecraft for three times, and they've all failed. The photographs that we see by the sun casting a shadow and knowing exactly where uh, the sun was at the time, the time the picture was taken, they can measure and, and uh, come up with a calculation that this object uh, was 90 meters high. Now that's a football field. Now in this study that the Canadians did, all the engineers contributing to the study, they felt that this was sufficiently unusual so they called it the monolith after the uh, 2001 Arthur Clarke's uh, movie where the apes were doing things on the moon and there was uh, a big object that they couldn't understand uh, and that was called the monolith. It's still there. I've seen the pictures of that uh, and I think it strangely was a natural uh, occurrence. Uh, no evidence, really, one way or the other. But it uh, disturbed people that heard me describe this on C-SPAN mm -hmm. quite a few years ago. Yep. Remember? Yep. All right. Well, now that we're getting a little closer, <laughs> I, I changed my story. Because we need the support of these people that never seem to have extraordinary evidence. So I'm going to suggest that what it is, is an antenna for the aliens out there, an invisible race that communicates to Earth and other planets here with some of their people, aliens and they're invisible. And there's one right over there behind you right now. Now this will create a lot of interest when people go, oh, what did Buzz say with this? And they will think about the moon and going to Mars. And we need all sorts of people because the public needs to support what the nation wants to do.